G'day everyone, Josie here. Just bringing you the third installment of the Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 soaked walkthrough gameplays. I decided to do something a little different today as my recording software recorded my video and audio out of sync and it was too hard to edit my usual live commentary format. So I've decided to take this opportunity to look at the video in a holistic view of how I attack every Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 objective rather than just the one at hand while I'm playing. Uh, so I'll use this map as an example, or sorry, this scenario as an example of how I attack pretty much all of my Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 gameplays. So for this map, the objective is to get $1,050 monthly ride income uh, to be a tycoon. What I also require is 50 guests in a pool complex at any time, a minimum ride length, slide length, sorry that is, um, of 180 metres, and a minimum coaster length of 610 metres. Now using this map as an example, I've already looked forward at these objectives as I do in every video. And I try and see what I can plan forward to to make it easier and quicker to finish the objective because I'm not too worried about making the most perfect park every time I come in and play this game but I do want to know how to make it easier to finish the objective so I'm not stuck playing the game for hours on end trying to get my last objective finished. So using this footage as an example at the moment I add a lot of land based rides early in almost every objective I play. I do this so that I can get a money making machine I call it where I just keep turning over money using the ride tickets. Um, this is used in almost every objective by me to ensure that I have always got a decent income so that I can work towards any other objective that I need to complete. One thing I do is also plan ahead, as you can see now. I'm still only on the apprentice objective, but I've already built my water slide for the next objective in the game, which is to get a ride slide, oh sorry, a water slide of 180 meters long. So I did that, and I know that objective's done for when it comes to that point. Now, I'm thinking about building my roller coaster, but what I need to do is make sure that I'm always getting enough money before I try and build it because roller coasters are very expensive and they take a lot of time and effort to build. So I want to make sure they've got all my flat rides and money, uh, all my flat rides out of the road early so they can make the money for me and then I can just focus on building my roller coasters or my features of the, my main features of the park to finish my objectives. So as you know, I need a 610 meter minimum coaster length to finish this objective. So that's what I've tried to do here. I've tried to do big, long curves and big, long hills to try and extend out my track as long as possible. But as you can see here, I pulled up short. I think it was by about 50 meters. So I had to try and extend it out as long as I can. Now, as you can see here, I'm very short on money trying to build this ride at the same time. So that's where that building those flat rides is important as it keeps that money turning over while I'm trying to build these roller coasters or trying to build any other thing that you that is required for your park, like a pool or scenery or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it again here, just... These ones are probably not as necessary. I think what I was doing here was more trying to just get that monthly ride income up. So I just spammed pretty much the park with flat rides. It's the easiest way to go when it comes to an objective like that because they're cheap as chips to build and they can bring you a lot of money depending on what type of ride you have selected. So now, at this point, it was pretty much just a waiting game. Just waiting until the guests, the number of guests in the park got to a point where once the, all of my rides filled up, that my monthly ride tickets would be completed. 
uh, once, actually, that's right, as, as I was doing that, I then realized that my roller coaster was also, I think, about 10 meters short at that point. So I made sure to fix that up. And once that was fixed up, I had ended up getting enough ride income and enough length on my roller coaster that my tycoon objective was complete and this park was completed um, as a result of that so let me know guys if you want me to do this sort of format over a live commentary i sort of prefer the live commentary a little bit better because i get to go into more detail i feel like this video was a little bit rushed um, but i suppose it's up to you guys um, just like comment on the on this video and let me know as to what you guys want to see because really in the end it's what you guys want it doesn't really matter what I want all that much but it helps me if I get any feedback at all to sort of know where I should be taking this channel's direction uh, so yeah thanks again for watching guys see you next time